Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Gris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Gris and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the change. God's way will become our way. Brothers and sisters, we see in scripture that the Lord said that his ways are not our ways and that his level and position is higher than our position. What is what what was he referring to? He was referring to linear time. That he has a different time frame that he's walking in and that he's moving in through so the wheels within the wheels of Ezekiel, for example. But then also we have the statement, Behold, I make all things new. And now we are at a new dawn, at a time of a great shift, of a paradigm shift of a great change when God's ways will become our ways and this is not only spiritual but it's literal God's ways will become our ways the highways on which God the Father is moving will also become our highways we will be able to go, go through all the infinite realities and dimensions and we will be able to seek the lost sheep no, no matter where they are trapped. And we will set them free and we will take them through New Zion to Mount Zion where the rapture of the church will take place at the sixth seal. That's also what the Lord has said. I am sending out the people. Remember the parable of the wedding when nobody was coming and the Lord said, okay, now I'm sending my servants out into the highways and into the byways. God's ways will become our ways. To the highways and to the byways and everything what he has created, all the ways through circular time every connection, every reality, every dimension. It's something totally new that was never here on earth before. You are moving, you will be moved to the dimension to find the lost sheep and to set them free. And the result will be a multitude closed and wide that no one could number. How would that be possible just in the near time? It isn't. But with God everything is possible and that's the reason why we are shifting to that new era where we have the fourth dimension of space coming in and you will do your harvest work through times and space. That will give a lot of new opportunities and I will make a video about that tomorrow. And no wonderful opportunities and it also makes the harvest easier. I give you just one example. In our linear timeline now, you will find a person, maybe even within your family, who is rejecting the kingdom of God 100%. Will not allow you to come with your truth inside at, at all. Blocking everything. Being part of the enemy kingdom for a long time. But now, the Lord will take you to an alternative reality where this person also may be still in the enemy camp but being much more open to the message that you will bring forth and to the light that you will shine forth. And there, in that different reality, you will be able to save that soul. That is mercy and grace of the Father. And that will allow you to fulfill in the other reality what is impossible right now in linear time. Always remember that the whole scriptures will be fulfilled. And when it's written that a multitude that no one could number would stand at the base of Mount Zion, then it will come to pass. The Lord will open the portal the portal to space and through this portal we will have access now to the new ways God's ways 
God's highways, and I will send my servant into the highways and byways to collect whoever I can reach and bring them to the wedding, because the original wedding guests have refused to come. And they, are, they remain in the vanity of the world, they are not interested in what God is saying, so the Father has rejected them, and he is going now and sending the harvest workers, the servant, into the highways and byways, his ways into different realities and dimensions to set the captives free. Wow! That also explains how the Lord Jesus, at the time after the crucifixion, he was going to enter Hades to set the captives free there. By now we know and understand that Hades will also be another reality or dimension somewhere. And so he entered there and set the captives free by preaching to them the truth of the kingdom of God and nothing else than the kingdom of God. Not what our churches are telling us, not what their pastors are pleasing to, to preach from their pulpits, not what they think is the truth, but the real truth. It's all about the kingdom and the inheritance. It is all about your position where you are standing, if you are part of the royal household of the heavenly kingdom or if you are part of the world. There is no nothing in between. There is only a position with God or a position with the enemy. And so we understand it. The Lord has brought it forth in so much clarity that we understand now how he will be able to be omnipresent and omnipotent and how we will be able to reach all the people and everywhere and what he has created through time and space and where he will send us into our missions. You can be used as a harvest worker and a powerful warrior on every battlefield and on every harvest field, wherever it will be possible to rescue a soul, to seek the lost sheep and to bring it back into the open arms of the Father through every dimension, through every reality, wherever it is possible. And New Zion is also another reality or dimension within all of the whole highways and byways that, that, that the God calls His ways. The same with Mount Zion, Third Heaven, all of it. It's God's creation. And now, with this change and this powerful shift, He will grant you access. Access to something that will be there to the whole world and to everybody. At the end of the book of Revelation, when it is written, I will make a whole new heaven and a whole new earth. That is what you will experience first end as a first fruits for the highways and byways of God's time and space continue. You will be the first to experience this. And you will be able to be transported in these places, to go in and out because of the light that will be and the mental that will be bestowed onto you. You are separated and prepared for such a time as this and such a revelation will not even come in closely before anywhere in the 2000 years before because now they have to come forth because now it is the time for you to walk these new ways behold i make all things new my ways will become your ways says god the father but only for the two sons and daughters who are volunteered who are willing to walk the path who are willing to set the captives free, who are willing to walk as the images of our Lord and Savior, our Bridegroom Jesus Christ here on earth. They will walk the new path through time and space, set being set free from linear time, going into circular time, where all the wheels within the wheel will connect together, where the past, present and future can be seen in one day, in one hour, it will be an amazing journey, brothers and sisters, an amazing timing. And I will continue with another video tomorrow about the great opportunities, the harvesting realities that are lying ahead of us. It is so much different from what the people are expecting. So completely different from what the churches are teaching today. But it's so much closer 
to the kingdom of God and to the truth and to the reality and to the returning of the King of kings and Lord of lords. Behold, I make all things new. And so, through this wonderful paradigm shift into circular time, also the restoration of all things will be possible. Because there is right now, right now, a dimension or a re reality where paradise is already again re-established on the earth. And there is another reality and dimension somewhere where not where also the Garden of Eden, New Jerusalem, will have already returned to paradise on earth. And there is also a finished and completed new heaven and new earth reality somewhere within all of it. So the restoration of all things can be done once you shift from linear time into circular time. Once the ways of God will become your ways. And that of course will allow you to do even greater exploits than Jesus has done. Because he was limited, at least until the cross, until his death, limited to linear time. Then that one, then the after came circular time. And that is also how he the power of resurrection came in and how he could walk 40 days on earth afterwards to, to send the harvest workers out. It is amazing how all the scriptures are now making sense and fitting together once you understand that there are new ways coming for you, new reality, new dimensions. And yes, my beloved scientists in brackets. And yes, you were right. There are indefinite realities, but not in linear time and not as you understand it. Turn your hands to the kingdom of God and everything will be given to you. Seek the kingdom and its righteousness first and then you will have the revelation and the truth about it all about time and space, about the fourth dimension. And most likely there are more dimensions to follow thereafter. But this is the next level. Then when you reach a level of, of, of uh, standing before the throne of God on paradise, then most likely the Lord will open up all the others remaining dimension to you. And it will be so surprisingly, so amazing, so perfect as you have never seen it before. But now the next step is the fourth dimension of space, as the Lord has shown us with the last puzzle piece video. He has given us that revelation. This is the next. Why space? Dimensions, interdimensional travel, opening of doors in between, and there also CERN is coming in for the enemy side. Everything is coming together and everything is making sense. Get ready for a great surprise, the greatest change in your life. You will be able to, to move from one dimension to another one. And I believe there is definitely predicting programming of the enemy side also for that through some dream work movies that are outside there where people are doing that in a movie. I do not know them because I do not watch them, but they are definitely predicting programming because the enemy also knows that this time will come when God's ways will become his our ways when we will walk on these highways and byways of the interdimensions and that is also the reason why during trumpets the abyss will open because that is another dimension the abyss where the giants and demonic forces are now hiding and then when it's connect together they will come over the abyss will be opened and this is through the key of the kingdom of God that it will be open exactly as it is written in the scripture. But for now the harvest workers will have the privilege to be the first fruit of this traveler, the first fruit of this harvest, the first fruit of the ones that can walk these new ways that belong to God through the wheel within the wheel of Ezekiel, through the power and the glory of the kingdom of God, through how he is, was able to create it all, not only the earth but the universe, and how he was be able to make it through time and space dimensions. 
That also explains all this where our scientists are, are telling us a lie about creation. Because the dimension of the dinosaur is just another reality. And when you connect it together, it can be even tomorrow. If you have the ability to move there, then you can be by Monday tomorrow, move into the dimension of the dinosaurs and then they're there again. It is not something that is billion of years or million of years uh, in our past. We have to change our thinking about linear time and understand how it was all created. And that it was all finished, as I have told you yesterday in this great video about the time that would, uh, the, the, uh, the, the shift and, and changes of time to circular time. So it is important to, to have us all and share these videos. Yes, it is difficult to understand for some people, but this will be the new, God's new reality. It explains it all. It explains the flood. How people are searching when and which year and when did it happen? No, no, no. All wrong. It really doesn't matter which year or what and what had happened. It is another reality where it took place. And so the earth was destroyed by a flood. And all is fitting together. And only God can connect all this together at the right time. But we here in our linear time, and even the best of our scientists can never grasp the concept until God is open it to them to experience it first hand as you as a harvest worker will do. Oh, now I understand why it says that the, that the saints in heaven are jealous because they want to be here at this time. Because they had to do their work in linear time. But now you will walk into through circular time. And they wish to could be here at this time. Therefore, the wish is granted and their spirit will walk with us through circular time. So that they experience it all. The time is here to embrace something new. Something more, much more powerful than you can ever imagine. Much more powerful than you have ever prayed for much more powerful that you have seen it in your dreams and visions it is a great shift a great change and god's ways will become our ways i will continue in this series tomorrow with a video about the great opportunities harvesting realities until then stay with the kingdom stay on the path stand strong let the enemy not come against you and prepare yourself for an amazing new world. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.